Breaking news here on Patriots Today as the Patriots have made their second trade of the day as they bring in Minnesota Vikings offensive lineman Vidarian Lowe in exchange for a sixth round pick. Tyler Jones here with you. Thanks for joining us here on this special at-home edition of Patriots Today to break it all down. The Patriots were already pretty active with a... Another trade that they made to start off the day, sending away Pierre Strong Jr. to the Cleveland Browns in exchange for offensive tackle Tyrone Whitley Jr. Uh, there. And now you make this move to bring in Lowe, uh, giving up the uh, pick that we mentioned, sixth round pick. The Patriots are loading up on this offensive line. They are trying to find all the help they can get. Look, we've talked about it a lot over the last several weeks on this channel. The offensive line has been a serious issue for New England, and they needed help. And then, to make matters worse, uh, worse what happened on Friday night when Riley Reef went down, it was full-on panic mode for the New England Patriots. The numbers showed that the Patriots, in the preseason, had some guys that were pretty good at pass blocking, but the run blocking was just horrible, just horrid. And they needed to do something. They couldn't stay content with what they had. Didn't matter if it was Mac Jones, if it was Bailey Zappi, Trace McSorley, Malik Cunningham. Nobody had time to throw the football over uh, the last few preseason games. They needed help. So now they make this second move today, bringing in uh, Vidarian Lowe. Uh, Lowe, a little bit of his background, uh, was drafted by the Vikings last year in the sixth round out of Auburn. He played in a total of four games, no starts for Minnesota. Uh, his grades that he graded out according to Pro Football Focus included an overall grade of 35.1, a pass block grade of 63.3, and a run block grade of 44.1. I know the numbers aren't great. Not good at all, quite frankly, but small sample size. He played a, a grand total, folks, of 33 snaps last year. Uh, had two penalties called on him. Didn't allow any sacks. Did allow a hit when pressure allowed. So a small sample size. All of it was at left tackle last year for uh, Minnesota. Wasn't great, but I'll, I'll give him uh, a pass considering that we just didn't see a whole lot. 33 snaps. Grade's not good. Maybe the statistics don't add up, but 33 snaps. What what can you really take away? 33 snaps as far as that goes. So this is still a young player. This is, uh, you know, with them giving up a six-round pick here. This is basically saying, hey, this is what our six-round pick is going to be. We're going to do it now. I'm fine with that. I am fine with that of basically just taking away next year's six and saying this is going to be our pick right here, going with low here. Don't really know if this is going to work. But they are desperate. They need to do something. I like it for New England uh, to at least try something and see if this guy can make a difference or not. I'm going to tell you more about Lowe in just a second. I've got a full-on scouting report we'll get to and recap the rest of the news of the day that's gone on for New England. But first, give me your one-word reaction to the trade by your New England Patriots to bring in Lowe. What do you think of this move? Give me one word to describe it all. My one word is needed. Needed. Thank you, Bill. Thank you, Bill, for addressing these issues today. We'll see if it works. That all remains to be seen, how well these moves go. It is desperation mode, but at least you did something. Give me your one-word reaction. Let us know in the comment section. Folks, this is why you subscribe. My off day today, and here I am back at it, bringing you a second Patriots video here from my home studio today. Why do we do it? Because we're built different around here. You guys deserve the absolute best. We're going to bring it to you each and every day here on Patriots Today with daily news and rumors. We're doing watch parties throughout the season as, as well. We had a heck of a time at our watch party uh, on Friday night. We're going to do more of those. Subscribe now. Grow the channel. More subscribers means more videos and more coverage that we can bring you here on Patriots Today. Subscribe now for free. Turn on notifications to stay up to date what's happening with your New England Patriots. We have you covered here on the channel. All right, uh, more on Lowe. We mentioned the sixth-round pick last year out of, out of uh, Illinois. Uh, I mentioned Auburn earlier, Auburn High School in Illinois, rather, uh, but played his college ball there at uh, Illinois. 
in the scouting report, this is courtesy of Lance Zerline uh, of NFL Media, who scouts all the players before they enter the draft and where they go and everything. And Zerline gave him a fifth-round grade, saying this, offensive line prospect who checks multiple boxes in both the traits and the intangible categories. Evaluators are sure to love Lowe's personal character as well as his measurables. He's big, strong, and long, but needs to play with better hand accuracy and technique to fully unlock those traits. Bend and athleticism are both strengths for Lowe, who is a scheme independent talent. That's important. That means that he should transition easy to this Bill O'Brien offense. More from Zerline. He allowed too many pressures and sacks during his career. That's not good. But he has the tools for rapid improvement with a few coaching fixes. Lowe is worthy of middle round consideration as a swing tackle with guard potential. Didn't play any guard for the Vikings this past year. Only played the left tackle spot. But uh, Zerline says his strengths are he's big, strong, and durable. Praise for character, maturity, leadership. Those are very good things. Belichick's going to like that. Bendy with adequate lateral quickness. Makes athletic adjustments on the move. Runs feet to stick and wash down opponents in zone blockers. Rips pass punch into opponent with snap. Maintains separation with link and hand resets. Above average recovery athleticism. The weaknesses uh, for low. Let's tell you about those according to Zerline. Pad level rises a little tall out of his stance. Leans and drops helmet into contact. He lacks crisp, accurate block with entry with his hands. Doesn't bring his feet under, hindering sustained attempts. Needs better play side landmarks on stretch plays. Punch is stiff, but can ride a little too high. Post uh, foot uh, dead ends when sliding to inside counters. Needs to sit down and find footing to anchor. Struggles to create consistent firmness with his outside edge. So there is the scouting report uh, for uh, Lowe there, the uh, latest edition of the New England Patriots. And, and I got to tell you, if you got a fifth-round talent and gave up a sixth-round pick, then that's a win. Let's see if he can develop and what he can do with this New England Patriots team. The other moves today, we mentioned the trade of bringing in Tyrone uh, Wheatley Jr., uh, giving up Pierre Strong Jr., the running back. Now you have two more tackles uh, who are both going to make the 53-man roster. You don't make these moves late in the ball game unless they are guys that are going to be on the 53-man roster. So I expect Lowe uh, and Wheatley to be on that roster when that's announced on Tuesday. But the other moves the Patriots made today, they released a total of 11 players. Uh, the list includes defensive tackle Carl Davis, linebacker Diego Fago. Safety, Brad Hawkins. Tight end, jo Johnny Lumpkin. Uh, running back, C.J. Marble. Defensive back, Quandre Mosley. Cornerback, Rodney Randall. Uh, defensive tackle, Justice Taviv. Offensive lineman, Micah Vanderpool. Tight end, Scotty Washington. And linebacker, Carson Wells, were the moves. So that puts the Patriots now uh, with a total of 79 players on the roster. So they still need 26 cuts before Tuesday's deadline of uh, Tuesday evening. So 26 players are still to go. They've already announced uh, several of those, but still a ways to go before they get to that cut-down number. Look, to kind of wrap it up of what we saw today with these moves the Patriots made, bringing in low uh, with the trade that they made uh, just now, as well as the trade for Wheatley, these were aggressive moves by the Patriots. They needed to do something. It does wreak desperation, but it's better than nothing. I like the moves of what Belichick put together uh, for New England to go ahead and go through with this um, and move forward this direction. I think these, these were smart moves uh, that were for immediate needs that you desperately needed to take care of. You were not going to be okay with going what you had with. Now, we wait and see what the Patriots do next to narrow down this roster. I'll say this. I know that there's been a lot of criticism for Belichick uh, of some of the decisions that he has made over the last couple of years and a lot of question marks with how he's drafted. But I will say, Belichick, whether you like the moves or not, the effort's there. They're trying to put something out there, trying to be competitive. Will it work? We shall see. But it's not a lack of trying, I'll put it that much. Uh, how would you grade this uh, trade for the Patriots? What do you think of this trade? A, B, C, D, or F?
the trade that the Patriots put together, let me know in the comment section. Subscribe to the channel for more Patriots coverage. I'll be back in studio tomorrow with the latest what's happening leading up to cut down day. We're going to be covering it here the next couple days on the channel. Stay alert. Stay tuned for that. I'm Tyler Jones. Follow me on Twitter at Tyler Jones Live. I'll see you next time here on Patriots Today.